government of Jamaica and the European Union have a rich and long tradition of working together to advance Jamaica's development goals. This partnership spans almost half a century, 46 years to be precise. Jamaica gets most of its grant funding from the EU, meaning the money does not have to be repaid. This has enabled the development of many sectors in Jamaica. Ambassador Marianne Van Steen is the current head of the European Union delegation, EUD, in Jamaica. And we've really come to establish a genuine partnership which is characterized by two words. One is ownership. We are not deciding anymore what the country should do. Um, we think it is better up to the country to decide what are the priorities and then we see to what extent we can assist. And the second word is um, how do we do it? What is the modality? We're not coming here anymore to actually um, decide who is going to implement the projects. We talk with the government. The government tells us what is a priority. The government had a plan to reform the justice sector and was in need of a partner. The EU turned out to be the most suitable. The objectives were noble and worth the while and funding. However, a greater factor brought the partnership together. And there are not that many countries in the world um, which you can work in this way because you need trust. You need accountability. You need to be sure that the government is going to handle it well. And um, I'm very proud to say after 46 years that we have come to that point and that that is the way that we're working with the government of Jamaica now. For Jamaica's Justice Minister Delroy Chuck, the 24 million euro contribution from the EU could not have come at a better time. Here's why. The Court of Appeal was rehabilitated, enabling the appointment of six additional appeal judges. The renovations at the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Provisions were made for four family courts in Clarendon, Manchester, St. Anne and Trelawney. 78 courtrooms across the country have been outfitted with audiovisual equipment to enable virtual hearings. Justice centers were established in 13 parishes. We're coming from a situation where cases are now taking 8 and 10 years. We are hoping that, hopefully by 2022, no case should be in the court longer than 5 years. But I hope before I leave as Justice Minister we can get no case longer than 3 years in the Supreme Courts and in the parish courts no longer than 18 months. Minister Chuck's vision is that more people choose to resolve their issues out of court. With restorative justice, we are able to settle matters not only in the courts, but we are hoping to get into the communities to resolve disputes, conflicts, because these are the sort of activities that cause crime and violence, create abuses. And if we can really roll out that program even more than we are now doing, we feel that this pandemic of crime and violence, domestic and child abuse, etc., that we can reduce that. I don't think I have met anyone who said that this island would be a paradise if it wouldn't be for the crime. And one of the ways to help to prevent crime is justice. So that's why we think it is very, very much an essential sector for us to come in and to help. A successful justice sector reform program would mean accountable, professional and effective justice services. Fairer access to justice services for all, in particular for vulnerable groups and at the community level. A national child diversion policy mainstreamed throughout the justice system. Stronger linkages within and across justice sector institutions. Increase the budgetary allocations to justice sector institutions and programs and, importantly, strengthened public trust and confidence. All of these desired outcomes fit into Jamaica's National Development Plan, Vision 2030. Development is a, is a process of improving lives and livelihoods. And, and it's important to set targets and goals and have measurable objectives that you are, you are moving towards. And, and what you've heard is, is a concrete set of, of activities in a program, well supported, well intentioned, and, and stakeholder driven that should redound to the betterment of Jamaica. According to Ambassador Van Steen, the end of this program does not signal the end of relations with Jamaica. The EU will be looking into other initiatives that will prolong the partnership.